Hey everyone, welcome back to Divine Friendship News. Today we're diving into a political whirlwind that's got everyone talking. From unexpected resignations to controversial appointments, the drama surrounding the attorney general position in President-elect Trump's cabinet is unfolding like a political thriller. So buckle up because this story has it all. Loyalty, power plays, and plenty of twists. Let's start with the bombshell, Matt Gates. He was the first pick for attorney general. But in a shocking turn of events, he withdrew his nomination. Officially, he called it a distraction. But behind the scenes? Sources claim Trump himself doubted Gates had enough Senate votes for confirmation. Oh, and let's not forget the baggage. Gates has been dealing with allegations of misconduct, including a House Ethics Committee investigation. Serious accusations, folks, denied by Gates, but still enough to create major turbulence. And then, BAM! Pam Bondi steps in. If you don't know her, she's a former Florida Attorney General and a trusted Trump ally. She's been by Trump's side through thick and thin, from his first impeachment trial to his recent legal battles. Clearly, she's someone Trump trusts deeply. But Bondi's not without her own controversies. Critics have questioned her decisions as Florida's Attorney General, and you can bet those will come up during her confirmation hearings. Still, she might have a smoother path than Gates thanks to her Washington connections and legal experience. So, how are Republicans reacting to the shakeup? Opinions are split. Some, like Senators Eric Schmidt and Rick Scott, are all in for Bondi, calling her a strong candidate. But others, like Susan Collins, seemed relieved Gates withdrew, suggesting doubts about his fit for the role. Even former RNC chair Ronna McDaniel said Gates made the right call by stepping aside. It's clear that Bondi's appointment is being seen as a fresh start for many within the party. This isn't just about a cabinet position. The attorney general wields massive influence, shaping policies, enforcing laws, and protecting justice. With Bondi, the big question is, will she prioritize loyalty to Trump or maintain independence? Her decisions could ripple across criminal justice, civil rights, and even national security. And let's not forget, historically, the Justice Department is supposed to be independent from political pressure. Looking ahead, here's what to watch. How Bondi handles scrutiny during her confirmation hearings. What she says about her past controversies. And if confirmed, who she appoints to key Justice Department positions. These choices will give us insight into her leadership style and how she plans to navigate this complex role. So, there you have it, Matt Gates out, Pam Bondi in, and the stakes couldn't be higher for the Justice Department in the country. Will Bondi bring stability or spark more controversy? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this is a story worth watching closely. Stay informed, stay critical, and as always, thank you for tuning in to Divine Friendship News. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think Bondi's appointment means for the future of justice in America? Let's discuss.